You may have heard of defense mechanisms. Defense mechanisms are automatic patterns of thinking and behavior that are meant to be self-protective. Examples include repression, simply forgetting something uncomfortable, intellectualization, relying on thinking rather than difficult feelings, and even humor, making light of something otherwise serious. But where do defense mechanisms come from, and why are they so often a major focus of psychotherapy? Fundamentally, a defense mechanism is an adaptation to one's environment. This begins in childhood, when we learn we need to adapt, change, or regulate something about ourselves to please parents or other caretakers. For instance, we may learn a parent doesn't want to see us angry, so we adapt by using the defense of putting on a happy face instead. Importantly, most of the time we don't develop defenses on purpose. A defense develops naturally, organically, and unconsciously over many years of repetition. It's the same basic process as evolution. An animal changes something about itself to adapt to its environment. It doesn't do this on purpose. The Galapagos giant tortoise didn't set out to develop an enormous protective shell, but the shell developed naturally over time because it's what the environment called for. Defenses are like that too. But unlike the tortoise, people grow up and leave the home they were raised in. Then the defenses that worked at home, the shyness for instance, don't work when they get to college. They don't make any friends, they get lonely, they get depressed. When they come to psychotherapy, they need help becoming aware of old automatic defenses so they can get more flexible with them or give them up. So when your therapist points out a defense, don't get more defensive, but realize they're helping you give up old, outdated adaptations so you can adapt even better to your current environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.